use a screwdriver to open the wooden box and lay out all the parts and tools. Start with fixing the lower pivot bar to the bottom of the Solus 2. Slide a shading drive arm through the perheliometer mounting clamps with the counterweight downwards and fix it to the side plate. Fit the T-bar to the drive arm using two shoulder washers and a flat nylon washer. The six screws in the T-bar cross arm must be facing forward. Tighten the locking nut until there is no free play, but the T-bar can move easily. Screw the second shading drive arm to the mounting plate. The two set screws for clamping the zenith plate to the shaft must be facing downwards and fit loosely. Connect the T-bar to the drive arm and adjust the locking nut as before. Ensure that the two drive arms are parallel and then tighten the two screws firmly. Connect the shading support arm to the T-bar as shown. Adjust the nylon locking nut such that there is no free play but the support arm can move easily. Make sure that you have fitted it to the correct side of the T-bar arm. Connect the support arm to the correct side of the pivot bar as shown. Adjust the locking nut as before. Now you can fit the top mounting plate, ensuring that it's the correct way up for the countersunk screws. The positioning of the shading balls is done after the radiometers have been installed on the mounting plate.